Hello, I'm Julian Clary. Now, when I was a child, I grew up in a place called Teddington in a suburban tree-lined street. I didn't have many friends, so I used to make up stories for myself. And there was a family who lived opposite us who happened to be quite hairy. And I remember I made up the story that they were all hyenas secretly living in Teddington. And this is the story that I've written down for your amusement. It's called The Bolds. If you like, I'll read you a little bit of it. And the story begins in Africa, where the hyenas live on the Maasai Mara. They happen to live very close to a safari camp, where lots of people go on holiday to see all the wild animals. Well, there's a honeymoon couple on their honeymoon there called Mr. and Mrs. Bold. They rather daringly go for a walk into the bush one day, and it's very, very hot under the African sun, and they decide to go for a swim in a pond. And they fold their clothes neatly, leave them on the side of the pond and dive in. But unfortunately, some crocodiles live in that pond and they had them for lunch. Just then, a couple of hyenas are passing by. And this is the bit I'll read you now. <clears throat> Two of the English-speaking hyenas called Spot and Sue, who were actually very much in love, saw what had happened and came to sniff around the discarded items. Hey, said Spot to Sue, come and look at this. And he handed her two passports pulled from one of the bags. Well, well, exclaimed Sue, the poor dears were called Fred and Amelia Bold. May they rest in peace. The two hyenas stopped for a moment and bowed their heads as they thought about the poor dead humans. But hyenas are known to be opportunistic creatures, and sure enough, Sue soon had a very daring idea. Can you walk on your hind legs, dear? she asked Spot. Does a lion do its business in the tall grass? Of course I can. Then listen, said Sue excitedly. These clothes look like they might fit us. We could put them on and go back to the safari lodge as Fred and Amelia bold. Well, then what? asked Spot, frowning. Don't you see, said Sue, this is our way out of here. I've always fancied living in England. Apparently it isn't as hot as Africa and the humans there love queuing. That would make a nice change from always fighting and diving in for scraps of meat here and there with all the rest of the hyena clan. This is our chance for a new life. Oh my, said Spot with an incredulous laugh. That is one bold idea. Do you really think we could get away with it? Why not, said Sue, as she continued to look through the dead couple's belongings. Look, here are two plane tickets, a driving license, house keys, car keys, and our new address. 41 Fairfield Road, Teddington in Middlesex. Oh, it does have a nice ring to it, said Spot as he slipped into the larger pair of shorts. And I must say, these are a perfect fit. Tuck your tail out of the way, for goodness sake. It's peeking out the bottom of your shorts. That would give the game away. Spot laughed. Oh, Sue, how I love you, he said, trying on a large sun hat. I'm not Sue anymore, remember, she replied, putting on a posh voice as she buttoned up her khaki shirt. From now on, you must call me Amelia, and you, my husband, are Fred. We are Fred and Amelia Bold. And with that, they both rolled around laughing before they got up on their hind legs to walk back to the camp and into a new life. Well, that's all I've got time for now, but if you enjoyed that, the book's available in all good bookshops near you, and it's illustrated by the delightful, very talented David Roberts, and I hope you enjoy it.